that's the sort of thing that's been going on. But we start with Mr Justin Bieber. And if you think the world is a confusing place for us, what the hell's it like for him? For several years, Justin Bieber was afforded blanket media exposure, bibbling around in saccharine footage. Just another nauseating butter wouldn't melt pop weasel hammered into the global consciousness like a nail of frozen piss through a cabbage, delighting screaming teenage girls and, as this wonderful photo shows, dismaying their dads. But then things started to go wrong for Pop's Prince Joffrey. For one thing, he grew up and is now 36 years old and looks like Jim Carrey playing vanilla ice. Following a series of bizarre incidents, he was scarcely off the gossip pages. He had this heartening confrontation with a provocatively foul-mouthed paparazzi Phil Mitchell impersonator. What'd you say? No, I wasn't. Eh? What'd you say? Fucking little cock. Hmm, last time I saw scum getting under the skin of a prick like that, I was watching embarrassing bodies. More recently, in a bid to provide mankind with a single grim visual metaphor that encompasses everything, he was filmed pissing into a mop bucket and also pelting a neighbour's house with eggs in scenes which amused news networks and our own Doug Stanhope, who called him a pussy on last week's episode of this show. These fucking sissies, they drink a Red Bull for some pep and some spirit. But that seems so long ago. Fox News alert, this coming out of Miami Beach, Justin Bieber has been arrested. Yeah! He's ruining his life! Yes, to the obvious delight of every news channel on Earth, Justin Bieber had allegedly been drag racing a buddy in an unassuming yellow Lamborghini when he was pulled over by Miami cops. I hope when the police cars chased him, they went, Bieber, Bieber. <laughs> Immediately, the media went batshit. Narcotics, marijuana and alcohol. Bieber's arrest aftermath. His smiling mugshot after allegedly cursing at cops. Yes, posing for the world's cheeriest mugshot didn't do him any favours either because he didn't look penitent enough for society's liking. Look Shut at up. that hair. I mean, really. <laughs> Seriously, look how happy he is. That could be the front cover of a cereal packet or a jar of peanut butter. By the next day, the Bieber news had become so all-important, MSNBC felt it trumped a conversation with a congresswoman about the NSA spying scandal. We should uh, seriously consider uh, not, uh, uh, not continuing Section Harmon, 215 let me, let me and interrupt getting the... you. Congresswoman, let me interrupt you just for a moment. We've got some breaking news out of Miami. Stand by, if you will. Right now in Miami, Justin Bieber has been arrested on a number of charges. Yes, helpfully providing the second iconic image of 24 hours, a less chirpy-looking Bieber showed up in a bizarre split-screen live video feed from the courtroom wearing Guantanamo fancy dress. So the total bond would be uh, $2,500. $2,500? Jesus, he's going to have to work for three or four whole picoseconds to earn that. The charges are fairly serious, so he could be looking at six months in jail. So who's to blame for his transformation from irritant to slightly different kind of irritant? Some say the problem is his ever-present entourage. They claim Bieber's surrounded by unsavoury characters determined to get into his inner circle, an experience that should prepare him nicely for life in prison. The one thing everyone can agree on is that young Bieber needs a firm role model. So what sort of example were the adults of the media setting? Well, as the voracious coverage showed, as he walked free, they were jostling for position, clambering over police cars for a better shot until the cops yelled at them. Hey! Get off the friggin' porch! While back in the studio, assorted jumped-up pundits fought like rats in a bag. He's 19 have, years old. Have, I'm wait wait sorry. He is not, old. He's not even went to school. He's we home school. What are you talking about? Or took the time to admonish him like disapproving surrogate parents. He was spewing the F-bomb at police. They even turned his health status into a clickbait voting game. Do you think Justin Bieber should go to rehab? Or at least have an intervention. Go to our Twitter page and weigh in right now. The concern spread to this side of the Atlantic as Daybreak's resident showbiz barnacle Ross King, a close friend of Justin's, wasn't afraid to ask the tough questions, even when they weren't relevant. You have to question where the parents are in this whole situation, but also bear in mind that Justin's mum was just 17 when she gave birth to Justin, so questions have to be asked. Yeah, the main question I want to ask is, what sort of weird hair colour is that, Ross? What the f*** have you been doing, dyeing it with Nescafe? But the prize for most outraged pundit goes to this Brazilian anchor who vividly demonstrated his disdain by improving Bieber's latest CD with his foot. Bieber, 
Obviously, it's hard to feel sympathetic for a multi-millionaire pop star, but imagine having Justin Bieber's life. You're followed everywhere you go by intrusive news cameras, pornographically detailing your every encounter with scumbag paparazzi oh, and fucking little cock in whining teenagers shrieking your name. And you have to keep those fickle teenagers happy by jigging about in ghastly pop videos, belting out this god-awful shit you probably grew out of a few years ago. Everyone who isn't a teenage girl hates you like you're a Nazi made out of spiders. And every time you look in the mirror, Justin Bieber's staring back at you. He sleeps with you, he eats with you, you have to hear his thoughts, you even have to jerk him off. And on top of that, whenever you turn on the TV, there's a bunch of sanctimonious parasites on there getting paid to bitch about what an arrogant, impulsive twat you are. This is a case of too much money, too much stardom, not enough rules and regulations. He needs a timeout, if not a spanking. <laughs> <laughs> If that was my life, I'd inject heroin into my eyes, set the Lamborghini on fire, and deliberately drive it at 200 miles an hour into the first f***ing wall I saw. But Justin Bieber didn't do that, which means, despite everything, he's still a pussy. <laughs>